So, time once again for the Weekly Flags Recap. Okay, so, some meta-analysis here. Um, overall, this was a very slow week for Flags. Uh, I would say we're down by about 25% across the entire YouTubeiverse. So that's awesome. Um, the Great Debate community, again, leads the pack in flags and flagging stories and we'll get to that and one thing that was very noticeable for this week in particular is that the pro wrestling community has kind of just gone silent as far as flagging each other which is good it's a good thing um so we'll start with the great debate community and the flagging of the week. I'm going to say that the flagging story of the week is uh, the very naughty video of the Amazing Atheist being uploaded onto YouTube uh, more than once, and each time it was, it was flagged down um, very quickly. Very, very quickly. And I, I, it might have even set the record for how quickly YouTube can remove a video. Now, in the links in the description box, I'm not going to give you the link to any way to find the naughty video, although a certain person that a lot of people uh, might not want to go to his website, he does have it on that website. <clears throat> but I will give you a link to um, basically... It's a video like uh, when people watch Two Girls, One Cup, and they're watching it. They don't show the actual thing, but the, you get to see their reaction. I'm going to link you to a video like that, and then um, once you see someone's first reaction to this video, you can decide if you want to go track it down yourself. Um, next in the Great Debate community, we have Rob Lester Films, and... Um, this is another flag that he's had from the Destiny group. Um, if you guys don't know about Rob Lester Films' fight against the Destiny group, or cult, uh, you should watch his his uh, video. Just watch what's in, in the description box, that link. But also, you can take and learn from what Rob Lester Films does, because... He has, wow, so many channels. Um, I can't tell sometimes if it's somebody mirroring him or if it's just another sock account of his. But he has a lot of accounts. So when he gets flagged, you know, he makes them feel it by just mirroring it everywhere. Uh, link in the description box to one of the mirrors. Um, next we have Gluteus Illuminatus, who was flagged by Yaw's Porpoise 777. I didn't even know that was a Yaw. Um, they should color code those Yaw things. Um, anyways, uh, that's a, a long standing fight here on YouTube. And on the flip side of that, on in the other click, in the Yaw circle, um, we're going to call this uh, Spicy Yaw. Uh, Revelation 7 Bride, uh, that channel is reporting a flag. So, yeah, that's the story in, in that drama circle. Next we have the Brain Enema, who was not flagged recently, but is now coming out about uh, some of the uh, flag story between her, and she doesn't name him, but it's Mr. Repsion. Um, and that also extends to Undertaker Freak something something number which we've discussed last week's, and uh, The Amazing Atheist. So, there you go. Also, it was the Brain Enema who brought it to my attention that the Atheist Gamer 100 has been terminated. Channel gone. But, luckily the Brain Enema made a video, and that's also in the description box. Next, in the Great Debate community, we have... Sky's the Limit, who is, he's asking for mirrors of a, a flagged video to be removed because he, he no longer feels like that video has to be up there because he respects police. And I don't really get it, so watch his video yourself and then you, you can see if you get his 
whatever he's saying. Um, next, we have a channel that is obviously a, a, a sock account. It's called Thunderfoot101. And it's claiming that Thunderfoot DMCA'd down a video, which who knows if that actually is the case. But uh, Thunderfoot101 uh, has put up a video where there's a link in the description box where you can download the video that they claim was flagged down, which is uh, PZ Myers proves that Thunderfoot is a misogynist. Um, and that's it for the Great Debate community. Uh, next, we're going to talk about some of the interesting ones. Um, in previous uh, episodes of the weekly uh, Flags recap here, I told you about Ghost Man Adventures and how he had started a flagging campaign against an obvious Poe. And see, in in uh, the great debate community, we know what a Poe is, but this guy, he's, he is so sucked in by the trolling of the solar flicks that he is he is like oh my goodness you know he's he's saying that he wants to kill his therapist and his mom we need to flag his video down he 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 has this campaign against him well the solar flicks videos didn't go down um i guess youtube saw them as the art that they are but the ghost man adventures channel got a flag for the video which was asking everyone to flag the solar flicks so that's what you get for being sucked in by a Poe. Um, <laughs> wow. Anyways, uh, next in the interesting category, we have uh, Wicked Media Replies, who um, I believe fancies himself as a juggalo. And he is admitting to flagging uh, somebody named Rain Man's video down. And it's just... It's a very nice glimpse of where we don't want to go as a, a society. Just look at his video and, and you'll know why I put it in the interesting category. Next we have Unme Kurushi. Uh, I don't believe that's her real name because she doesn't look like an Unme Kurushi. But she made a video that got flagged down and it was about self-harm. And... I'm not sure exactly where in the terms of service it says that you can't make a video where you say that you're going to cut yourself or commit suicide, but this isn't the first time a video talking about suicide get, or self-harm gets flagged down. And um, once I find you know, where it is in the terms of service that uh, you're not allowed to do that, I'll let you guys know. I haven't found it yet, but it does seem to be a policy, even if it's not really written down anywhere, that if you talk about committing suicide or if you talk, if you say that you're going to be cutting yourself, they will pull your video. Um, and also in the interesting category, I think everyone should just watch this news clip. It's it's awesome, but apparently the news clip was flagged down. Um, it's uh, it comes from Texas. There was a, a news channel that was warning people about uh, letting their kids get on chat roulette, and they they gave out some figure like uh, half of all the people that you meet on chat roulette will immediately start exposing themselves and playing <laughs> with themselves in front of you. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. I haven't tried chat roulette, but it's it's funny to hear it in a in a news story. Um, next, we have the racial commentary community is still going strong at about the same pace and, and level of flagging that it has been before. Um, I don't really want to talk about anything that they were talking about, but uh, in the links below you will see uh, I was very surprised that one of them was able to get away with a certain name when a certain uh, person named Variablast, who legally has changed his name to a whole bunch of other names, was not allowed to use that name in any of his versions of his names. But this channel seems to have uh, some leeway here by putting the word princess in front of it. So 
yeah, that stood out to me, but everything else that they're talking about, I just... Uh, not worth mentioning here, I, except for that I can group them all and say that they're talking about um, racial inequality. Next, we have the inappropriate category. And uh, Southwest Zombies uh, said that uh, they got flagged. And I'm betting, based on every other video that's on that channel, it was probably before um, the girl who's in the bikini who bends over all the time. Um, and, yeah... Uh, Shayra spanking herself got flagged on on Brian's channel. That was his for that. That was how he got his flag cherry popped. Um, Brian J nineteen sixty two. So uh, if if spanking yourself, you know, with your clothes on and being totally clothed is enough to get you flagged, then uh, having a guy follow you around on a beach while you bend over to pick up seashells and try to make it look like you're actually doing something legitimate when really you're all you're just showing booty shots. Uh, I don't know. I can see where it's worse than what happened to to Brian. We, you know, but it's not. It's nowhere near the actual Playboy channel that's here on YouTube. And really, I, I wouldn't flag it. You know, and if I worked at YouTube, I wouldn't take it down. You know, they. Who doesn't like bikini bend over shots? When it's it, it's it's not a bad looking girl, you know, or at least from from her butt angle, I I don't think so. Um, next we have a uh, there was a video of an NYPD police shooting uh, recently, and a whole bunch of other people have this video up. Um, it's like a clip from Anderson Cooper, and they have like the actual uh, surveillance footage that caught the, the police shooting of uh, a shooter in New York. And one guy gets his video pulled down, but all these other channels still have the same footage up, and he's very mad about it. So he made a video showing links to everyone else who still had that video, and yet YouTube pulled his. Um, I, I'd say he has a valid, valid complaint. Um, next, in the inappropriate category, we have Bowling Snoopy, um, who is another girl who was flagged for showing feet in a YouTube video. Whoever you are who is flagging girls' feet as inappropriate, I will say this again, Whatever your reasoning is, you're wrong. All right? And if we were to debate this, you lose. Because you're attracted to little girls' feet. In, in a very wrong way. Where you think it's sexy, so you also think you need to flag it down so no one else can see these feet. You lose. Uh, and next we have uh, Huge Fat Kid 14, who I have found out is actually 16 years old now. Um, and Huge Fat Kid 14, for a very long time, has been showing his fat rolls, which, you know, they're, they're not that impressive as far as being gigantically huge, um, especially for an American. But... Uh, he got flagged for one of his videos where he likes to play around with his fat. And in the video where he uh, where he explains how he was flagged, he then plays with his nipple in the video. You know, like, yeah. Um, there's nothing about a guy's uh, bare naked chest that is... Uh, inappropriate at all in, in American culture, but I, I guess maybe somebody in the world thought that uh, young fat boy squeezing and, and fondling his fat rolls was... He's, he's never showing anything explicit. It's 
it's a weird one. You know, it, check it out. You know, he only makes videos about himself from here to uh, his belt region. And uh, next we have the gamer community. Uh, a bunch of people got flagged, um, but I'm only going to tell you about one of them. Uh, little 10 year old boy, uh, XX Fox Gaming XX. He says that he's 10 years old in this video, and twice in the video he says the word douchebag when he is describing the person who flagged his videos. And it is, mwah, it is beautiful. It is, you know, dramatic. Um, it reminds me of Hit Girl in Kick Ass. You know, it's just the the juxtaposition of very young kid saying very horrible words. Um, I recommend checking out that video because when he says douchebag, it is hilarious. Um, and then we have all the rest. And I'm sorry that this was a short video this week, but there wasn't a lot of flagging this week compared to other weeks. Um, Links in the description box to everything I've talked about and more, and a whole bunch of uh, anti-censorship links to boot. Check you later.